That while we was yet sinners, Jesus came and he died for us. God demonstrated his love through his son Jesus. But you must be willing to come to the Lord Jesus to receive the love of God. The love of God is Jesus Christ, but you must abide in God's love. You must come and, and repent and turn from your wicked ways and come to the Lord Jesus and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation. If not, my friend, you're going to bust hell wide open. Young men, you're going to stand before God. Get your life right with the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop playing games. Life is not a game. Life is not just a big old party and you do what you want to do and then you die and it's off to the pearly gates. If that's what you think, Mr. Domino's man, you deceived. You need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ and begin to deliver the gospel to people. You can give your life to Jesus and instead of delivering pizza, you can deliver the gospel. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But you must be willing to come to the Lord and receive God's salvation. Come and taste that the Lord is good, Mr. Domino Man. You're going to want more and more of Jesus. He will bring you alive on the inside, but you must be willing to repent. If not, Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, you're going to perish. You see that oven that you cook that pizza in? You're gonna be cast into the furnace of fire. You're gonna be cast in the heat of affliction. You're going to be cast in a place of torment if you reject the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And my friend, while it is still today, I am pleading with you to think about your soul. Stop just living for the here and now. Stop just living for today because you're not promised tomorrow. You may die tomorrow. Is your heart right with the Lord? Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to get your life right with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you're not promised tomorrow. Your life is nothing but a vapor. Once you get a hold of it, it's gone. Once you get a hold of life, before you know it, it slips away. You get sick, tragedy happens, and then you leave this planet, and you go somewhere, my friend. Yes, you in that white car, when you die, you're going somewhere. And you can go to be with God, but you must be willing to come and lay hold of the salvation of the Lord that comes through Jesus. For God is extending an invitation to his kingdom, but you must be willing to come. For God takes no delight in the destruction of the wicked, but that the wicked should turn and that they should live. But before you can turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, you must recognize that you are a wicked sinner and that you are in rebellion against the Holy God, that you are underneath his judgment. And you come and you confess your faults. You confess your sins and surrender your life. For if you confess your sins, he is righteous and just to forgive you and cleanse you, sir, of all unrighteousness. But you must be willing to come. You must be willing to repent. If not, my friends, you have no hope. In this world, our only hope is Jesus Christ. In this world, our only hope is the salvation of the Lord. Your money cannot save you, sir, in the day of judgment. You won't be able to buy your way out of that court date. You're gonna stand before God and he's gonna call your life into account. Get your life right with the Lord, sir. Stop playing games. God's not playing games today, my friends. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God because there is a day of judgment coming for you, sir. There is a judgment day coming. And God is trying to wake people up. Today is the day to think about your soul, sir. This is a divine appointment. God is trying to speak some wisdom to you. Get right with the Lord before it's too late because death is coming for you. It's appointed once for man to die and then after that, the judgment. That means you have an appointment with God. Just like you have an appointment with the doctor, you got an appointment with God. And my friend, you can't skip out on that appointment. This is something that's a sure thing because it's appointed once for man to die. 
and then after that the judgment. Give your life to Jesus, sir, for time is running out, for the clock is ticking down, and death is coming for you.